Minister. How you doing, sir? Cross on the street, how you doing? Do you know who we are according to the Bible? Do you know who you are according to the Bible, sir? Yeah? Uh, you, do you have an answer? Sir, you know who you are according to the Bible? Who? I can't hear you. See? That's that's what the Bible just said. He's living prophecy. He's living go back to uh go back to Isaiah. He's living prophecy. Don't consent her. Don't consent her. I guarantee you, if a white man was over here, a white pastor with a microphone saying, come get prayer, they'll run over here. Right. But we said, do you know who you are out of the Bible? Right. Do you know who you are out of the Bible? Something that really has some meaning to it is what we're asking you. Come on, read that. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 1 and verse 3. The ox knoweth his master. His owner. He say the ox knoweth. He knoweth. If you know something, you know what you know. The ox knoweth his owner. Knoweth his master. Come on. And the ass, his master's crib. He know how to get back home. One know his owner, and one know where his homeland is. Where his home is. But what about God's people? Come on. But Israel do not know. My people do my people do not consider. They don't know who their God is, and they don't know where their homeland is. They don't know and they don't consider. They don't know and they don't consider. You have to consider who you are according to the Bible. How you doing? How you doing? Our people don't consider. This is Bible prophecy. We're living it right now. As we speak, we say our people don't consider. Give me that in Ephesians. This is the book of Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 17. Wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. You got to read that again for my people. For my people. Because they're destroyed. He said, you got to know what the will of the Lord is. Don't be unwise. Come on. Verse 17. Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. You got to know what the will of the Lord is, or you ain't going to make it. You ain't going to have salvation. You ain't going to have the truth. What do you believe in if you don't understand what the will of the Lord is? How do you even know him if you don't understand him? Give me that in um give me that in Deuteronomy 10 and 16. Deuteronomy 10:16. Hey, let them know if they got time to come and listen. Come and get some understanding. Come and ask some questions. That's what we want our people to do. We bring the church out to the streets. You got the fly, officer. We bring the church out to the streets. We're going to come out here and teach our people to provoke them to come and learn who they are. Come on. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10 and verse 16. Circumcise, therefore, the foreskin of your heart. You see that? He said, circumcise the foreskin of your heart. If you circumcise something, when it comes to circumcision, you're taking off something. Right? So he said, your heart, meaning the things that you've been learning, the things that you've been taught, take that off. And come and learn about the Most High God and what His will is. Read that again. Verse 16, circumcise therefore the foreskin of your heart and be no more stiff-necked. You see that? So if you're stiff-necked, meaning he let you know that you're not keeping his commandments. You don't know what his will is. You're not hearkening. You don't consider. Be no more stiff-necked. Uncircumcise your heart. Read that one more time. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10 and verse 16. Circumcise, therefore, the foreskin of your heart, and be no more stiff-necked. You see that? He said, be no more stiff-necked. Be no more stiff-necked. Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. The Exodus. I believe it's 32 and 8. Exodus 32 and 8. 
This is the book of Exodus, chapter 32 and verse 8. They have turned aside quickly out of the way, which I commanded them. They have made them a molten calf, and have worshipped it, and have sacrificed thereunto, and said, These be thy gods of Israel, which have brought thee up out of the land of Egypt. And the Lord said unto Moses, I have seen this people. There you go. That's what I want right there. He said, he what? And the Lord said unto Moses, I have seen this people. You see that? Go and say, hey, I already know you. He already know you. What did he say about his people? And behold, it is a stiff-necked people. You see that? So he already said, circumcised, be no more stiff-necked. But he said he's seen you and that you're a stiff-necked people. Come on. Now therefore, let me alone, that my wrath may wax hot against them, and that I may consume them, and I will make a, of thee a great nation. You see that? Now give me that in Hosea 5 and 15. He said, let me alone. Let me alone. Why? Because we have to go through these curses. We have to go through these curses. And now that we're in these curses, now we should seek the Lord ten times harder. We should want to know who we are. What God desire of us? What is our purpose? Come on. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 5 and verse 15. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense. You see that? He said he will go and return to his place. Don't you know that God used to fight for the Israelites in every battle whenever the enemies or the other nations came up against them? The most High God was their defense. You see that? He was right there defending the Israelites. He wasn't defending the other nations. Well, the same thing is today. He said that he will go and return to his place. Read that again. This is the book of Isaiah, or Hosea chapter 5 and verse 15. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face in their affliction. They will seek me early. You say that they will seek him early. It's time for our people to come back and keep God's law, statutes, and commandments. Stop playing church. Come realize what God really wants you to do. Right? Because why? We've been taught so many different religions. We see so many different movies what Christ looked like. We see so many movies what the Israelites look like. We see so many movies what Moses looked like. We see so many movies who, who portray your history. Can't nobody teach you your history but the prophets. The blacks, Hispanics, and the Native Americans need to come back and keep God's commandments. That's, right. That's what he requires of you. That's, right. That's what he desires you to do. That should be your desire. He said that we're going to do his will. He wants us to do his will. Give me that in 2nd uh, Ezra. 2nd Ezra 7, 20. 2nd Ezra 7 and verse 20. All right, because we got to keep God's commandments. That's right. If you want salvation, you must return unto the Lord your God and know who you are. All right, because the, the kingdom of heaven has 12 gates. How are you going to get into the kingdom of heaven if you don't know who you are? Come on. This is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 7 and verse 20. For there be many that perish in this life, because they despise the law of God. You see that? There be many that are going to perish in this life. So you got to ask yourself, wait a minute. What do I fall in the line with this? Am I the one that's going to perish by despising his laws? Or am I going to be the one to try to figure it out? You see that? You want to try to figure it out. We got to stop walking around like we don't have no direction. Like we are lost people. That's why Christ said, I came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. He is our king. You see that our people are not being taught that. In Hebrews 7 and 14, where our king come from. What our king look like. What our king desire of us. How he's trying to lead us. He said he won't leave us comfortless. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. 
from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.